UNC system leaders, including new president Margaret Spellings, are speaking out tonight about House Bill 2, and we're learning the new law has already had one direct impact at UNC. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick has that story. We continue to, to think through ideas of what, what might uh, provide uh, some relief uh, and some, uh, you know, really comfort. UNC System President Margaret Spelling says House Bill 2 has created a chill on the campuses of the UNC system. We're trying to work through this. UNC Board of Governors Chair Lou Bissett tells us backlash to HB 2 already has forced tomorrow's UNC Board of Governors meeting and today's committee meetings to Chapel Hill. They were supposed to meet at UNC. Asheville, but there was talk of protests. We're just better equipped to deal with uh, the mechanics of a meeting and, and uh, the kind of public input that we're likely to have this meeting. Spellings is concerned the law could impact UNC's ability to recruit and retain students and faculty. On the Chapel Hill campus, there were strong opinions about HB2. Well, I think everybody should be, be entitled to you know do what they want, go to any bathroom they want. I don't like it very much. Um, I view it as kind of an overreach of government. Jake Riggs is the outreach chair of the UNC College Republicans. The club itself here at UNC was pretty split on the Charlotte ordinance, but a lot of us largely don't like House Bill 2. Supporters say the law provides common sense security measures in restrooms. They also say Charlotte went too far in its non-discrimination ordinance. For the Board of Governors, the chair says there is one focus. We're trying to educate students and uh, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Spellings tells us she continues to meet with state lawmakers discussing those concerns that she's hearing about on campus. In Chapel Hill, Bo Minnick, CBS North Carolina. And Spellings did call the governor's executive order on House Bill 2, quote, a step forward. The entire UNC Board of Governors will meet tomorrow in Chapel Hill, and demonstrations are expected. Ahead at 6, what else Spellings is doing to better understand how HB 2 is affecting UNC's campuses?